Oh my god, is it gonna work? Hey internet, it's Jessica, and a welcome to Marry Me Jehe. So, for anyone who has not have heard of Mystic Messenger, it is a mobile game, which is amazing and I love very, very much. And there is one female root uh, with Jehe, who's the sweetest, cutest character ever. I love her so much. And I gotta go into spoiler territory, so if you're planning on playing the game, I highly suggest you just skip over this, but her route kind of doesn't end in a romantic way, which really upsets me because I was t I, t I was totally in love with her character. I wish it did. Um, but in my head canon, I, you know, they're my character and Jehe are together. I don't care. But anyway, <laughs> luckily, there uh, is a fan game called Marry Me Jehe, which is based off her root, and it's based off the ending of her root. The good ending, I should say. So if you have finished the good ending of that game, congratulations, join the Behi ship. You and Jehi open up a cafe shop, which she did at the end of Mystic Messenger on her root, and it's time for you to propose for her to, to marry her, so I'm really excited about this. And like I said, this is a fan game, so if you would like to play the game yourself, there's a link in the description. Also, I highly recommend you check out the creators of this game, including the artists, the writers, music, everything. The links are in the description. This game is actually accepting donations to certain charity organizations that they're going to donate to. Uh, two of them are going towards LGBTQ plus charities or organizations, I, I should say, such as the Trevor Project and Lamba Legal. So it, there's also a list of like other organizations or tra charities you would like to donate to. There's um, a list there so you can pick, which I think is really lovely that um, that they're doing this. So I'm excited, so let's start new game. Please enter your name, I'm putting my name. Holy crap, this is so adorable. Okay, so in Mystic Messenger, the MC or your character doesn't exactly show her face because it's supposed to be, you know, like up to your imagination and whatever she looks like. So I'm assuming this is us covering our eyes and this is Jay because she grew out her hair in the game by the end of it, which is lovely. She has very beautiful hair. Morning! Jayhee's long coffee brown hair spilled over the pillow onto yours. She was beautiful with short hair, of course, but she's beautiful like this too. Jayhee's always beautiful. Honestly, you were so in love with her before you even met her. Oh shit. Her soft clipped tone, her polite and compassionate words, and her face, always tense in the photos, she sent you, but now so relaxed and clear. It's true, because even though even my canon root is Jumi and Han, um, Jay was so- I felt so bad for every single root, I should say. Um, she was always like- she had to take care of everything. She was basically like the mom of RFA, which which kind of sucks because she works for Jimin as well, and then she had to do deal with all the business side of the company and whatever, so oh my goodness. But I'm really happy of her in, the, in her route when she finally uh, was able to quit her job, open her own cafe, and be happy. That's, that's what I like. Of course, there was moments of tension. You run a business together, after all, but instead of a per- Perpetual exhaustion, now the, now the knitting of her brow bellies and an eagerness to solve the latest problem. You love Jehi, your precious partner, and she loves you too, even if she's still sometimes embarrassed to admit such informer, improper feelings. Oh dear. <laughs> you want- Oh my god. You want her to feel more secure in your relationship. That's why you want to take the next step together. Maybe it's today. Maybe it's right now. Ooh, we could just propose like this. The game's story. Okay, you know, I don't think this is right right now. Because this is the kind of... Well, this is my philosophy about it. If you're, if you're going to propose to someone, you should at least talk to them about it beforehand. Before you just go like, hey, will you marry me? Kind of thing. So I'm going to say not yet. No, that would be ridiculous. She's not even awake yet. Jayhee, I'll meet you at the cafe, okay? Hmm, Jessica? All right, I'll see you there. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. I love the art style, it's adorable! The cafe is within walking distance of your apartment you and your partner share. You often walk there together, but some days are scheduled so that one of you can sleep in. It's good that you're working a little earlier than Jehi today. It gives you time to think. Or, you know, just take a deep breath and try not to freak out about what you're hoping to do. For the hundredth time this morning, you check your pocket for the ring box. It's simple, elegant, white gold band, the sort of thing that you... That will suit Jehee perfectly, you think? You hope she likes it. For that matter, you hope that she 
she likes you enough to say yes. I think so, if she does, right? Arriving at the cafe, you take a moment to look fondly at the key before you use it to unlock the door. It's the same key Jehi gave you on the day that you first met in person, the day she asked you to be her partner. Yeah, that was so cute. I, I didn't take it in a in a friendship kind of way because I was like, they're so she's so gay. I don't care. Um, but it was really adorable. The ending of the Mystic Messenger route was really good. Now it's your turn. Once inside, you set about the familiar motions of preparing the cafe for opening. It's so peaceful this early morning. The warm rays of sun brightening brightening the stylish wood interior of the special place you made your you made for yourselves together. Long before the cafe is formally open for the morning, a few regular customers have already come and gone. Jehi will be here soon. Oh, maybe you should make some coffee for her. What does she like again? I think she likes lattes, right? Oh my god, I did Jehi's rude like a long time ago, so I can't really remember what kind of latte. You want to make something special for her for what you hope will be a special day, so you decide on, so you decide on honey vanilla latte. I hope this is right. Oh my god, I don't even remember. The hiss of the steam wand and the smell of the fresh espresso, the fresh espresso filled the air. Practicing with Jay has paid off, and so with the lessons with Yusung's coffee club. Oh yeah, the Yusung was there! Yusung is so cute! And he had the coffee club at his college, which is awesome. The foam settled perfectly on top. With a few delicate movements, you fo form the shape of a heart at the center. Aww, this might be your best work yet. Good morning, just Ah, she's so cute! I love her! Good morning, Jessica. Her timing is impeccable as ever. Jakey walks in just as you place the latte at the pickup counter. Her uniform is nice and tidy. Seven help with the design and so I- Oh my god, I love that this this fan game is incorporating the other characters from Mrs. Messenger. Not only just on her route, which I really, really like. Of course, by the way, of course Seven would be the one to do all of this. <laughs> Jakey, great timing. This is for you. For me? Oh, a latte? How lovely. Oh, she's blushing. Yay. And a heart. How sweet. Your latte art is improving. Thanks, I think. Jehi leans over the counter and gives you a light peck on the cheek. Then accepting the drink, she takes a seat at the nearest table at to the counter. You come around to join her for a minute. You probably shouldn't be spending quality time with your girlfriend on the job, but your boss is leaning about these things. Don't don't they own the shop? Who's the boss? Okay. If it's Jumi and Han, I'm gonna die laughing. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> Jehi takes another sip of her drink and looks at you thoughtfully. You seem a little tense this morning. Is everything all right? Yes, of, of course. I was just, um... You cast around desperately to change the subject. I was wondering if you've spoken with any of the other RFA members lately. Oh, of course I have. Was there something in particular you had in mind? Okay. First of all, uh... I, I really want to... I'm really curious about Jumin because, I, like I said earlier, that's my canon route, but... I feel like I should ask about Zen, because Jaehee and Zen became really good friends, and you know, she's a freaking fan of him, so I'm gonna ask about Zen. Well, how, how about Zen? He's been pretty, he's been very busy with the new musical, hasn't he? Just as you expected, Jaehee's eyes light up in the mention of her beloved actor. <laughs> you're glad that you've been become, you're glad that they become close friends nowadays, but there's definitely still a diehard fangirl lurking within her. This is why I love Jaehee, because she's like secretly, not secretly, but she's like a fangirl, and she fangirls really, really hard with um, things she likes, especially about Zen, so. <laughs> oh yes, he's finally gaining some recognition he deserves for his acting talents. He seems quite fulfilled. I'm very happy for him. And he's promised to secure us a pair of VIP tickets soon. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, good. Zen's musical might not necessarily be your thing, but Jaehee's enthusiasm is infectious. And anything that makes her happy is alright in your book. Besides, Zen's your friend too, not to mention arguably the biggest supporter of your relationship. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Jaehee? Hmm? Are you fulfilled? Well, of course. I'm living life. I'm living a life I never could have dreamed of not so long ago. Pursuing my dreams alongside a person who is very precious to me. Thank you again, Jessica, for saying yes. For choosing me. Jaehee places her hand over yours and smiles. You love the way her eyes shine and when she talks about Zen. Of course, but but the way she looks at you is even better. Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. Mr. Han, I mean Jumin, he called me with a proposal. A proposal? Did he beat me to the punch? I'll destroy him! <laughs> oh god. What, what kind of proposal? A business proposal, of course. Oh, 
There's no way in hell Jimin would propose to Jay. <laughs> oh my god. What did you think I meant? Oh, nothing. So what is it? He has an offer for us. He says he wants to buy our business. What? Buy our coffee shop? We would still be in control, but he believes there's an opportunity to expand. He'd like to open more locations and expand into potential profitable venture ventures. Maybe even cat cafes? Oh my god. <laughs> cat cafes? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, personally, I don't mind cats. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of cats, but, like... Jumin has a problem, so I'm gonna go with uh because I know I know Jay's gonna be so annoyed too. Oh, what's wrong with him? I wondered that for the I've, I've wondered that for the longest time. At any rate, I told him that I would have discussed it with you, of course. So what do you think? I mean I I get it, like it would be nice for them to have like this whole big business and like make money and stuff, but I I think the whole point of Jay's root was finding something for herself. At least that's how I, the way I saw it when I was playing with her route. She wanted to do things for herself, not just be Jumin's assistant doing this because she needs to make money. She graduated college early because she needed to get a job, blah, blah, blah. So she never did anything for herself. And I feel like the opening the coffee shop with the MC was the thing she did for herself. So I'm gonna say no. We're, I'm sorry, Jumin. I love you, but no. Hmm, I don't think we should accept it. Oh? Well, this is supposed to be a place for the two of us. I don't want anyone to ruin that. Especially not your heartless former boss. No offense, Jumin. <laughs> really? To be honest, I felt the same way. I don't want to share business, or you, with him or anyone else. But I was afraid that I was being selfish. I'm so glad you agree, Jessica. I'll let him know. Aw, yay! I'm so happy that it worked. After your conversation, there's another rush of customers, and you don't have much time to talk during the day. You steal occasional glances at your partner, who seems to be enjoying her work. A few times she catches you looking at her, or vice versa, and you both smile. Aww. <laughs> both of you know it. it's already early in the evening, and you're getting ready to close up shop. I like the atmosphere, like the music, how it matches everything. As you lock the door behind you, Jehe stands off to the side, watching you thoughtfully. I don't think this is the right time to propose. What do I do? Do I invite? Cause like, if you propose during dinner, is that really cheesy? I don't freaking know. Wait, propose, invite to dinner. Let's go to dinner. I don't know. <laughs> You're hopeful that the moment is right. You want to make this extra special. Jehe, I want to talk to you about something. Would you? Would you like to go to dinner? Of course. Oh god, please tell me I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> you head over to the restaurant the same street as the cafe. It's a small place, but it's where you had your first official date together once Jehee finally admitted her feelings. She seems very happy to be back here. Her face glows with warmth, more beautiful than ever. Thank you for inviting me out, Jessica. You... you look beautiful tonight. Can't help but blush. These moments of honesty used to be so rare, but she's ma been making it up really... She's been making it up for it by showing your, you in affection since you formally started dating. Jehe, you're my partner and my best friend. You're my whole world and I hope you know how much you mean to me. But I want to be sure. So I wanted to ask you. <gasps> oh my god, is it gonna work? Will you marry me? Jehe is quiet for a moment. Her expression is unreadable. It's the longest moment of your life. Jehe? I'm sorry. I just... I never thought I could be allowed to be so happy. <gasps> yes, okay. Yay! Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, thank you. No, no, thank you. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> you always thank me for choosing you, but I'm thankful that you chose me too. So, marry me, Jayhee. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> I'm so happy. This is what I wanted in Mystic Messenger. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I'm so- So we really all lost, huh? I wouldn't say that. Yeah, they look pretty happy to me. And I don't see how our friends being happy together could count as a loss. <laughs> Yay! It's so cute! Jay, I love you from now on. I'll never let that smile fade, even for a second. I love you too, Jessica. Let's make this happiness last forever. Woo! I got it! I got the look I made! 
That's my head cannon, by the way. I don't care. She's gay. I don't care. Good ending. Woo! I love it. That was a good game. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, so there's actually two bad endings. One normal ending and one good ending, which is the one that we just saw. So if you guys want to check out the game yourself, there's a link in the description. It is free to play. And like I said before, if you would like to donate money to any of the organizations or charities that are listed in within the description of this game, you can go ahead right here. And like I said, um, their organizations or charities go towards the LGBTQ plus community so speaking as someone who is queer it's very nice that there are games there are games that are representing the community because there's not a lot of games that are um like this um i should say because there are, yeah there are a lot of gay games but at the same time they're not very how do i explain this i don't know if you guys have seen the game coming out on top which is not there's nothing wrong with it like i do i've seen the gameplay of a lot of a lot of other let's players who've played it it's a good game but for me personally i just feel like there's too many gay games that are focused around sex which isn't like that shouldn't be the norm, is what I'm saying. It should be more... If they want to do, like, a romantic dating sim for, for um, queer characters or anything like that, it should be more like this. Or at least an element of this added to it instead of just banging everybody. That's that's how I see it anyway. But <laughs> but I'm very, I'm very happy that this game was made. The art style is very adorable. It's very cute. And they got the setting right on how um, Jay how Jehi's root was in Mystic Messenger and how it ended and I like how they incorporated the other RFA uh, members the other characters of the Mystic Messenger game and um, music was cute it, it matches the entire thing and I, I really like it, it's a very short and sweet kind of thing and it makes sense um, for how the story is of the original game which I really appreciate because usually sometimes fan games don't exactly fit the feel of the original um, the original story or the original uh, source material so I appreciate that this game did and yeah I'm just happy I got to marry Jehi it finally happened because that is my headcanon I don't care <laughs> anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this let's play of marry me Jehi and like I said if you want to grab the game the links in the description and if you like this video leave a like and comment and let me know also let me know if you guys did Jehi's route and tell me what ending you got and if you love her as much as I do Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!